Annyeonghaseyo, bitch. It's your boy Kevin again, and welcome back to Learn Korean with BTS and Kevin. So get your speaking pens, get your notebook, get your study notes, and let's get it poppin'. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 1. So if you haven't already, please check out my previous videos for the unboxing as well as learning hunger. So yeah, let's get into it. So The first chapter is 안녕하세요. 저는 보라예요. This will be covering the basic expressions. I am Bora. 저는 보라예요. And 한국 사람이 아니에요. Yes, I'm not Korean. <laughs> and then we're also going to be covering vocabulary such as 나라, which is the country, and the culture, which is Korean greetings. But first, we need to start our pens. <laughs> And I just wanted to show you guys some hidden features and hidden things that are in this book. So if you can see over here, there are some BTS logos such as their hat, this hearts. So if you click these, <laughs> BTS speaks to you. J-Hope's like, let's get into it. Is everyone ready? Jimbi, Hesso, yo, biz. Are you guys ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Purple you, I purple you. This is Namsan Tower or Ensoul Tower. This is Lotte Tower. Uh, this is Gyeongbokgun Palace, which is where they filmed Idol for the Tonight Show. So that, that was such an amazing performance, oh my gosh. This one's like the main capital, I wanna say, near Seoul Station Olympic Stadium, I wanna say. Basically the stadium where they performed that in Seoul. And then here's the KTX train. So there's a lot of different hidden stuff that is in these pictures as well so just be on the lookout for that too here's a bus stop so that's just covering the first cover page and let's get into it let's get it we have vocabulary so what does bts say and they also have this scan here qr code so you can see what they're talking about so jumping right back in so bts was playing this country oh i kind of gave away the answer but they were playing this country game and basically guessing the capital of each country so what does bts say do they say ot which is clothes do they say umshik which is food, or do they say nada, which is country? Yes, they do talk about countries. Wow. So if you click this box over here, you got it right. Otherwise, no. But you can also click this too, and it speaks to you. And over here, they have several countries, countries, right? Several countries written down in Korean. So let's see if you can guess some of them. So this one says Canada. So I wonder which place is this? Hmm, hmm. Canada. 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 They also have Miguk, which is USA, United States. Miguk. Miguk. And then they have Bura, Burajir. Oh my god, why do I sound like that? Burajir. Burajir. So Brazil, they have Ilbon. Ilbon, which is Japan. They have Hanguk. Hanguk, Korea. Hoju. Hoju, which is Australia. Taegu. which is Thailand. Taegu is Saudi Arabia. Hmm. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Egypt. Egypt. Spain. Spain. France. France. <laughs> France. With an F. Yongguk. Yongguk, which is England. And then. Russia. 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 Jungkook. Jungkook, which is China. Don't get this mixed up with Jungkook. <laughs> That's the countries that they listed. So they have multiple countries written down, and you can hear it out and basically follow what they're saying with the Korean speaking pen. And then you can also change the languages too. On this right page, they have this episode. Pegyong. So they have this episode where it takes you through a mini episode. 
Uh, mini episode between Bora and her adventure to Korea. So basically, Bora has just gone through immigration at Incheon International Airport. She notices a girl picking up a bag with the same BTS key ring as hers from the luggage carousel. Oh, Emma. I never expected to see any army as soon as I arrived in Korea. Bora tries to say hello. <laughs> so if you highlight these BTS logos, there is some sayings as well. So it's the same ones as I showed you before. So that's the episode for this chapter. And that leads us into Pyohyun, expression one. So read aloud the key expression. So they have this tap here so they can speak to you what they are saying. So if you tap here. So they speak in Korean. If you have Korean on, if they you tap English, they'd speak English to you. Nice to meet you. I am Bora. Nice to meet you too. I am Nicole. 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 저는 보라예요. I am Bora. 저도 반가워요. Nice to meet you too. 저는 니콜이에요. I am Nicole. One semester of Korean and taught me so much. Yeah. Checking the key expression. So over here, they have some they have some symbols up here just to let you know like what goes in inside the sentence. So this is the sentence. 은, 는, 예요, 예요. So basically, 은, 는 is the topic particle that expresses what you want to explain. So it's the object that you want to explain about. And then after that, you add in the explanation to the 예요, 예요. So basically in the first noun, if it ends in a Korean consonant or vowel, it gives you the two different scenarios that is shown here. So if you are given a consonant, you will use the first of the slashes. So 은 and 이에요. And then if you're given a vowel, you would use 는 and you would use 예요. So we have 저, which is me or I. Since 저 ends in a vowel, you would use the 는 instead of the 은. So 저는 and then 아미, so army. So me ends in a vowel sound, the E sound. So you use 예요. 저는 아미예요. 저는 아미예요. I am army. Following the second one. 우리는 방탄소년단이에요. 우리 means we. 우리는 방탄소년단. So BTS. 이에요. Is. We are BTS. We are BTS. BTS. Woo! In English, it's I am Dan, but in Korean, you are switching the verb and the noun. I, Chonin, Dan, Eao, which is am or is. I, Dan, is, instead of I am Dan. And then the third sentence is Ijaberun, Puransu Sanam, Eao. 프랑스 사람이에요? Is Isabel a French person? When you add in the tone to go up at the end, it makes it into a question. And if you make it go down at the end, it makes it into a sentence. And that is this page. Oh, forgot this one. 사람. 사람. Man or person. People. People. So if you think about Auguste D2, 사람. 사람, 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 사람. Yeah, yeah. 그냥 나도 사람. Heading on to expression two, read aloud the key expression. 한국 사람이에요? 아니요. 한국 사람이 아니에요. 한국, if you remember, is Korea. 사람 is person. So Korean person. And 이에요 is, are you? 한국 사람이에요? 아니요. 아니요 means no. 한국 사람 이 아니에요. So this 이 아니에요 is stating that you are not. So 아니에요 means not or is not. So heading on to the right page, we have 은 and 는 once again. And this time we have 이 or 가 아니에요. 은, 는, 이, 가 아니에요. 
there's two nouns again, so you can put the two nouns and you want to negate the nature or characteristics of the first object. Once again, using the consonant or the vowel. So if you are ending in a consonant, you would use un. If you are ending in a vowel, you use nun. Consonant, i, anieyo. Vowel, ga, anieyo. Heading into the sentences. So ni kor, lun, kor ends in a consonant, which is the L or the R or whatever. So you use the consonant one, so un, and then peu, which means actor, ga, anieyo. The u sound is a vowel, so, so you use the ga, which is for vowels, and then anieyo. Okay, so Nicole is not an act actress, actor, actor, something like that. Nicole is not an actress. Yup, exactly. Bora sanami So Bora is not a Korean person. Yeah, expressions over here. So first one is a. Nicole은 배우예요. Nicole is an actress. 아니요. No. No. Nicole은 배우가 아니에요. This. Let's refer down here. So when a subject is distinct, you can omit the n and the n. So you can omit this topic particle. Since it's already implied that we're talking about Nicole here, you don't really need to restate it again. So it's like saying, Nicole, are you an actress? No, Nicole is not an actress. So you kind of see how it's like kind of repetitive. So Korean language, they usually omit that part. So since it's very uh, distinct and recognizable that you're talking about the same thing. So you can just say, 아니요, 배우가 아니에요. 니콜은 배우예요? 아니요, 배우가 and then the second one, 보라는 한국 사람이에요. So make sure you bring that up. <laughs> and then 아니요, 비스. 보라는 한국 사람이 아니에요. 보라는 한국 사람이에요. 아니요, 보라는 한국 사람이 아니에요. Okay, heading into the next part. We have 대화, dialogue. 대화. So listen and read after the below dialogue. If you tap here, it goes through the entire iteration of the dialogue, but you can also click it separately. 안녕하세요. 아미예요. Let's read after it. 안녕하세요. 아미예요. So 안녕하세요. 아미예요. So hello. <laughs> Are you an army? 네, 저는 아미예요. 네. 네 means yes. 저는 아미예요. Yes, I am army. Wow. BTS, 나는 군대다. 반가워요. 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 저는 보라예요. 저는 보라예요. I am Bora. 저도 반가워요. 저도 반가워요. It is nice to meet you too. Or it technically means I too, nice to meet you. 저는 니콜이에요. 저는 니콜이에요. I am Nicole. 한국 사람이에요. 한국 사람이에요. Are you Korean? 아니요. 한국 사람이 아니에요. 아니요. 한국 사람이 아니에요. No, I am not Korean. Can you tell? Uh, no, I am not Korean. BT dubs. They do another omitting part. They have this 당신은. So 당신은 means they're referring to the listener. So it's like a second person kind of thing. So are you army? But since you know that you're talking to each other, you don't really need to put in the 당신은 아미예요. You can just say army, are you army? So instead of saying, are you army? You can just say army. <laughs> and then they also cover more vocabulary down here. So 안녕하세요. hello. 네. Yes. 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 도. Additionally. So over here, 저도 반가워요. It means it is also nice to meet you too. Continuing on to pronunciation. Something I need to work on. Oh! 발음. 
pardon, listen and mark the correct pronunciation. So let's click the play button here. Uh. So what sound does that make? Uh. It makes this one. The aw. Uh. And this one's ah. Uh. Okay, it doesn't read for you, but you get the gist. Next one. So this one is o. Oh. Which is wrong. And this one is u. Uh. Okay, next one. Ooh, ooh. O. And then u. E. e. Which is this one. And then this is e. Yeah, pronunciation is a bit difficult, but once you get used to it, it, it becomes better. Trust me. Or don't. You do you. You do you, boo. Listen and read aloud. 안녕하세요. 저는 마르코예요. 안녕하세요. 저는 so hello, I am Marco. 안녕하세요. 저는 소피아예요. 안녕하세요. 저는 소피아예요. Hello, I am Sophia. Nice to meet you. I am Hesur. So here's Marco, here's Sophia, here's Hesur, and here is Jamar. Jamar. <laughs> It is also nice to meet you too. I am Jamar. Nice to meet you. I am Jamal. Jamal. Okay. Um. And now we are in Yonsup. Yonsup. Yonsup, which is exercise or practice. First off, we have the first expression, which is a noun, un or nun, and a noun, yeyo or yeyo, composed as shown in the example. So, 안녕하세요. 저는 보라예요. 안녕하세요. 저는 니콜이에요. Right. Okay, so we have over here another similar another similar expression example kind of thing. So, over here, 안녕하세요. If we are referring to Dan as saying this dialogue, so we would say 저는, which is I am, Dan. So, since Dan Ends in an N, which is a consonant. You would say, Danieyo, using that Ieyo ending. 안녕하세요. 저는 this is Bella. Bella. So Ra is a vowel as well. So you would use the Ieyo for this one. 저는 Bella. Ieyo. And over here we can formulate the similar expression using this structure. Yuki nun irbon sanamieyo. So Yuki is a Japanese person, or Yuki is Japanese. Yuki nun irbon sanamieyo. So following that structure, we would have this is Eric and he is American. So Eric, since this ends with that g or the g sound, since it ends in that consonant sound, we would use the un. So Eric un. Miguk sanami yeyo. So Miguk sanami yeyo. Eric un. Miguk sanami yeyo. So Eric is an American. Secondly, we have Isabel. Isabel. So L is a consonant. So that's an un sound. And then we have Pudansu. So Pudansu sanami yeyo. So Isabel un. Pudansu sanami yeyo. Since Saddam ends with the M or the consonant M, you are using EAO for all of them. And then lastly, we have Maruko, Marco, and he is Mexico. He is Mexican. Maruko, since ko is a vowel, we use nun. So Maruko nun, Mexico salamieo. So it's pretty simple to explain a person's nationality using their nada, their country name. So all you have to do is say the country and then put sanamieo. So if you want to say Korean, Hanguk, sanamieo. And things like that. <laughs> okay, moving on to expression two, which is un and nun, iga anieo. The opposite of expression one. Mark the right answer as shown in the example. They're testing you on the grammar part. So bora i anieo, nikodieo, or bora ga. Anieyo, nikodieyo. So since ra, da ha is a vowel, you use ga and etc. So let's go through this one. Erki anieyo, 
Jamarillo or Eric Ga Aniyo Jamarillo. It's the first one because the G is a consonant. So Eric Yi Aniyo. Hoju Yi Aniyo Hankuk Yiyo. Hoju Ga Aniyo Hankuk Yiyo. The U is a vowel, so Hoju Ga Aniyo. Hanguk yeo. Ot, which is close. Umshik i anieo. Oshieo. Or umshika anieo. Ochieo. Oshieo. They're saying this is not food. This is close. And since this ends in that g, 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 g sound, and it's a consonant, so you would use e. So umshiki anieo. Okay, make answers as shown in the example. So, 안녕하세요, 뭐라 예요? 네, 저는 뭐라 예요? 네, 안녕하세요, 니꼬리 예요? 아니요, 저는 니꼬리 아니에요. Hello, are you Bora? Yes, I am Bora. Hello, are you Nicole? No, I'm not Nicole. We have Dan over here, so 안녕하세요, Danny 예요? Is he Dan? 네, 저는 Danny-yeo. So using expression one to fill in this answer. 네, 저는 Dan Iyeo. Bella over here. 안녕하세요, Yuki And she's like, ah, uh, no, bis. I'm not Yuki. Over here, you would say, 아니요, Yuki ga 아니에요. There's also another way to answer this one. So you can also say, 아니요, Bella yeo. So you reply with your own name instead. No, bis. I am Bella. So you can have two different answers for this one. No, I am Bella. Or no, I am not Yuki. Finally, heading into the fun part. So listening. Ditki. So listening to BTS speak. So you can also watch them on QR code and you can also click this play button to hear the sounds. 벌써 많이 들어오신 것 같은데 여러분 안녕하십니까? 그렇습니다. 방탄소년단 호비예요. <laughs> so listening to that, you fill in the blanks of what he says over here. That's a lot of Korean that I did not learn already. Poor soul, many, many. I'm guessing already there's so many people who came into the view live or something like that. Yorobun, which means everyone. Anyonghashimnika. So that's the more formal way of saying hello, which is Anyonghaseo. So, alright. Bantan So BTS. Ho Okay, Jay. Ho. I see many people. Tuning in. Hi guys. Yes, I am J Hope of BTS. Exactly. You can hear the resyllabification. This one would actually be EAO as we learned in expression one. Ho BAO. You can hear that resyllabification where the B sound goes into the next one and replaces that silent consonant. So it's Ho BAO. Next dialogue. Collaboration. Collaboration. 그렇죠. 이거는 게스트가 아니에요. So as you can see, it's using the expression two that we learned, which is blank 아니에요. Guest 가 아니에요. 이거는 게스트가 아니에요. So he goes really fast. So 이거는 게스트. Oh my god. 이거는 게스트. 어머. 게스트 가 아니에요. Collaboration. Means collaboration. Yes, that's right. Kudo cho. Igonun, this is not a guest. That's the BTS dialogue that they include. And then over here, they include like a mini insert of weavers. So read the text below and basically compose a comment using the grammars that we learned today. 안녕하세요. 저는 유키예요. 일본 아니에요. Hello, I am Yuki. I am a Japanese army. First off, let's just go over what this means. So, post. So, post deku, which means reply. You are writing yuki shi. So, she is like a formal way of addressing other people that you don't know. Yuki shi. Anyonghaseyo. Chonun. Blank. I am blank. So, over here it says irum, which means name. Chodo amieyo. Bura heyo. With your own name. 
you would then address address it over here. So for me, 저는 케빈이에요. 저도 아미에요. 뭐라해요? Last but not least, we have 문화, which is the culture aspect. 문화. Favorite part of this chapter. I love, I love that. So over here, we learn about Korean greetings. So usually, BTS would greet you. Which means, hello, we are BTS. Bow very deeply. So as you can see, they are bowing 45 degrees, which is very polite. In Korea, the age of the person you're greeting is very important. Because of their age, you would then basically bow formally or informally. So if they are older than you, such as elders and things like that, you would bow super formally. Compose yourself, basically. So usually um, that's for people who's older than you or like strangers you just met. So you wanna say 안녕하세요 and bow politely. With your friends, however, you can just like, oh, hey, what's up kind of thing. So you can just like, annyeong. <laughs> so you can just say hello with your hands. But if they're older than you or someone you never met before, usually you want to bow. So that's the little culture part of this part. And then since we are all done, there is this tiny logo over here. And if you click it. We are finally done with chapter one! <laughs> so that was chapter one. 안녕하세요, 저는 보라예요. So we learned about countries. We learned about two different expressions. So saying I am blank or I am not blank. And we also learned about Korean greetings in chapter one. So let's summarize with our study note. I am using a friction pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first off, we have chapter one. 안녕하세요, 저는 보라예요. And let's put today's date. Bending books. Oof. Oh, I can't even write nicely. Oh my gosh. That's why I like this pen because it has an eraser. And so when I make mistakes, it's very easy and nice to erase. And it's a pen too, so it's nice. Okay, so first off, we have this checklist. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different boxes you can put in this checklist. But... For me, I don't know what to put in this study note. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. There's a lot of vocabularies that we covered, so. Teenage, I kind of don't want to write in this book too. So I'll probably put the expressions first. So we have expression one. So we have the first expression over here. So blank, un, or nun, yeyo, or yeyo. I'm writing super ugly though. Yikes. And then we have expression two. Un or nun. And then e or ga. Ani yeyo. So we have these two expressions that we learned so far. And I'll just write down all the vocab that we learned. So starting from the first one, we learned nara, which means country. I'll just write down the ones that they listed down here. So we have nara, which means country. So this is technically all the vocab that we covered so far, with a few exemptions of like things like umshik, ot, and all the different countries that we learned. So basically, this is the summary of chapter one. So we have 안녕하세요, 저는 보라예요, which is hello, I am Bora. And this is the vocabulary that was introduced in this chapter. So we have nara, which is country, 저, 우리, 사람, 배우, 아니요, 안녕하세요, 네, 반가워요, 도, 멕시코, 게스트, oh my god. 게스트, 게스트. 게스트, and 이름. And then lastly, here are the expressions that we learned. So we have 은 or 는, and 이에요 or 예요 for, for a statement. And then the second expression that we have is 은 or 는, Yirga aniyeyo, which is a uh, opposite of expression one, and that is a summary of chapter one. Here's the play button. So I hope this was educational and fun and informative, and I don't know. Yeah, very very fun, you know. I'm just like a regular regular kid trying to learn Korean too. So I hope this was somewhat educational, somewhat fun to follow, and. 
feel free to let me know in the comments down below if there's any like suggestions to make this better because I want to you know provide for you guys just let me know if there's any suggestions any comments anything that I should do differently here so that was chapter one of learn Korean with BTS and join me next time for chapter two Bangtan Sonyeondan Gyotong Kadu Chisei Yo I hope to see you guys next week next week Friday and I'll see you then Bye.